Hey guys, this is Welp by Joe, and today I'm going to teach you how to make an Insight password using HTML and JavaScript. So I already made our JavaScript and HTML files, index.html and index.js. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to do HTML. Just follow exactly what I'm doing because I don't want you guys to mess up. And then we're going to start our body. All right. Now we're going to close our body. Body. Now we are going to close our HTML. H. Oh my gosh. HTML. Okay. Just get some space in between these. All right, now let's get started. So we're gonna title this page, whatever you want it to be. We're just gonna call it test. Pass. Word. All right, now we're gonna close the title tag. All right, now we're gonna add a headline, which is H1. Well, the biggest the biggest headline we're gonna call it test pass word. Then we're gonna close the each one headline. All right, now we're gonna start a body. So we're gonna do form um class is equal to um we'll call it pass form we're gonna close that and then we're gonna go close this form and inside we're gonna do input id is equal to pass one we're gonna close that and we're gonna do the type type is um equal type is equal to pass word and then we're gonna make this a required field so we're gonna do required and then we're gonna add our submit button. But, oh my god. So, oh my god, tell me to input type is equal to submit. I'm gonna close that. Alright, now you should have our basic stuff. We're going to go into our files, we're going to do, um, we're going to open this, and you should see what there is. We could also add this, we're going to pass, you could add a placeholder, but I'm just going to do this, alright, save. Now you have password. Okay. So now it says please fill out this field. Submit. It's just going to reload because we didn't set a form action. The form action does is it submits the form data to a database, but in our case, it's going to go to a different file. So to um, do this, we're going to do new. And we're going to do save as. We're going to do. We're going to call it article or web page. And then that is going to be HTML. 
we're gonna save that. So save this, and then we're going to action is equal to web page dot html. All right, we're gonna save that. Let's test to be this might not work. All right. Now we're gonna go into our web page html we don't need to do anything so we're just going to copy this paste this in here and then we're going to delete this i'm going to say well you could title it anything but i'm just going to say web page web page and then we could also give it a paragraph you guys can type whatever you want in a paragraph i'm just gonna say hello world this is just an example and i'm gonna close that paragraph all right so now you're gonna save that and then now you reload it type anything you want just say hello world all right and it worked so now we're going to actually do our javascript for our password so let's do look at this first all right so we gave that an id of password didn't we um pass one sorry all right so we're going to give it a variable and we're going to do pass word and we're going to make password equal to Give that a string. It's gonna be. You can make this anything you want. My password. I'm just gonna make one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Close, and that we're gonna do function. And we're gonna make a function called pass check. All right. Now we're gonna give these parentheses. Then. We're gonna do space, give those brackets, and then we are going to do end these brackets. We're gonna do if document dot get element by id and then we called it pass one with our password input value which is what they type in dot value is not equal to pass word which password is equal to one two three four five we're going to do brackets, enter, enter, brackets again, alert, wrong, pass, word, try, again period all right so now we're just gonna copy and paste this because we already have an f statement to enter we're just gonna do a control v and then is we're gonna make this equal to which is two equals some symbols we're gonna say correct password and then click ok to enter web page period ok I'm going to save that so now it should work I'm going to reload that type anything 
Alright, hold on. Did I see? Oh my god. Alright, so we didn't. I know what the problem is. We didn't do two things. I tend to do this a lot. So, first of all, go back to your HTML. We're gonna do script. And then we're gonna go src equals symbol quotes index dot js which links it to this file and then after this we're gonna do quote we're gonna close this so we're gonna do that we're gonna do um less than slash script and then we're gonna close that with greater than okay so now we're gonna save that and then we still need to do something so Go back into your JavaScript, right? You're going to do enter under this first alert, wrong password. You're going to do return false. And then you're going to put a semicolon. Then you're going to save that. Go back into your HTML. <clears throat> and then after form action, <clears throat> on submit you're going to make that equal to quotes pass check which is our thing which is our thing that we did that is this function pass check okay now in front of that we're gonna do return because we have return false <clears throat> okay so now we're gonna do save